Hello children, this is Sohagya Mahanti. Today I am going to teach you Standard 5 Mathematics Lesson 1 Understanding Whole Numbers and Numerals. In Standard 4, we have already studied 1 to 6 digit number. All of you know greatest 6 digit number. What is greatest 6 digit number? Greatest 6 digit number is 9,99,000. 999. So the next number is smallest 7 digit number. The smallest 7 digit number is 1 and 6 zeros. That is 10 lakh. Then greatest 7 digit number. Greatest 7 digit number is 79. That means that is 99 lakh 99,999. Similarly, smallest 8 digit number, that is 1 and 7 zeros, that is known as 1 crore. And greatest 8 digit number is 8 nines, that means 9 crore, 99 lakh, 99,999. Similarly, smallest 9 digit number is 1 and 8 zeros, that is known as 10 crore. And greatest 9 digit number is 99 crore. 99 lakh 99999 then come to natural numbers natural number is also known as counting number counting number why it is called counting number when we start counting we start from 1 so counting number starts from 1 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so on these numbers are called counting number Whole number, what is whole number? Whole number starts from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. What is the difference between natural number and whole number? Natural number starts from 1 and whole number starts from 0. So smallest natural number is 1 and smallest whole number is 0. All numbers which can be counted are known as numerals. What is numerals? Numerals are the number which can be counted. And the numerals can be represented in number line. Let us take one number line. This line is called number line. So this is 0. Right hand side all numbers are called positive numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on. These are all positive numbers. And the left side of 0 are called the negative numbers. Negative numbers are minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, like this. Then come to Indian place value chart. Indian place value chart is divided into four periods. The periods are ones period, thousand period, lakhs period, and crores period. Ones period is divided into three parts. 1, 10, 100. Then thousands period divided into two parts, thousand and ten thousand. Similarly, lakhs, lakhs, ten lakhs, crore and ten crore. One is symbolically written like O, ten for T, hundred for H, thousand TH, ten thousand T, TH, lakh L, ten lakh TL, crore C and ten crore is ten C. These are the place period, these are the place. This is 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, lakh, 10 lakh, crore and 10 crore. The place value of 0 is always 0. What is place value? Place value of a digit is the number into value of the place it occupies in the place value chart. What is the meaning of this? Let us take one example. This example is given in your book, exercise 1.1, .1, question number 1B. Question number 1A is done for you and this is question number 1B. The number is given 297608. How to write this number in place value chart? Start the number from extreme right. So first 8, then 0, then 6, 7, 9 and 2. How to read this number? 2 is in lakh place. So this is 2 lakh. 97 is in thousand place. 
So ninety-seven thousand six hundred eight. Like this, you can do exercise one point one. All numbers given, you have to write in number name. Then question number two. In question number two, the numbers, the numerals, you have to write. First question is five lakh sixteen thousand six hundred twenty-one. How to write five lakh? First five lakh, you have to write five. Then sixteen thousand, sixteen thousand. Then six hundred twenty-one, six hundred twenty-one. This comma is given for period. Then question number three. Write the place value of the given number. Here I have done one question for you. Place value of four in six lakh fifty-four thousand five hundred ten. Where is four here? I have written this number here. Four is in thousand place. So what is the place value of thousand? The number multiply by value of the place it occupies in the place value chart. So what is the value of this place? This place is thousand. So what is the place value of four here? Four into thousand is four thousand. So place value of four is four thousand in this number. Next is question number four. In this question, you have to write greater or less sign. So take this example. Uh, question number four is eh? forty-eight thousand one hundred fifty-nine. One number is given. Another number is given. One lakh forty-eight thousand one hundred forty-six. This is five-digit number, and this is six-digit number. So six-digit number is always greater than five-digit digit number. So this number is greater than this number. Second question for B. Five lakh forty-three thousand one hundred nine, forty-six thousand four hundred eight. This is a five-digit number. This is a six-digit number. Naturally, six-digit number is greater than five-digit number. Then come to question number C. Here, seven lakh thirty thousand one hundred twenty-nine, twenty-five thousand one hundred six. Same case. Here, six-digit number is greater than five-digit number. Then question number D. Here is four lakh thirty-seven thousand two hundred ninety-five, four lakh thirty-seven thousand one hundred five. This one also six-digit number. This one also six-digit number. So both the digits are same. Then you compare the lakh place. Here is four. Here is four. Both are same. Then thousand place. Thirty-seven, thirty-seven thousand. Here also both are same. Then come to hundred place. In hundred place, here is two given, here is one given. You know two is greater than one, so this number is greater than this number. Then come to question number five. Question number five is write the successor of sixty-four thousand seven hundred ninety-eight. Successor means the next number. How to find successor? The given number plus one. So. Here sixty-four thousand seven hundred ninety-eight plus one is sixty-four thousand seven hundred ninety-nine. So sixty-four thousand seven hundred ninety-nine is the successor of sixty-four thousand seven hundred ninety-eight. Similarly, in question number six, write the predecessor of three lakh thirty-six thousand one hundred seventy-nine. How to find predecessor? Predecessor means the previous number. And for finding the predecessor, you have to subtract one from the given number. So the number is three lakh thirty-six thousand one hundred seventy-nine minus one. That is three lakh thirty-six thousand one hundred seventeen. So this number is predecessor of this number. Then come to question number seven. This question is given. Write the following numbers in word. This is same as question number one. You have to write in words. Question number eight. Write the number in figure. This also same as question number two. Then come to question number nine. Here some digits are given. What are the digits? One, three, five, six, seven. Five digits are given. You have to write the greatest and smallest number using that given digits. So when you write greatest five-digit number, first you write all the digits in Descending order or decreasing order. So first seven, then six, then five, then three, then one. 
the number is 76,531. This is the greatest number. Similarly, the smallest number is, write all the digits in ascending order. First 1, then 3, then 5, then 6, then 7. And the number is 13,567. Then come to next question 9b. Here also 5 digits are given 2, 4, 0, 1, 3. So the, you have to write the greatest number. Same process, write all the digits in descending order 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And the number is 43,210. But in case of smallest number, don't write, start the number with 0. Because 0, you cannot write any number starting from 0. So you take the next smallest digit, that is 1. So first write 1, then 0, then 2, 3 and 4. The number is 10,234. This is the smallest number. Then come to the next question. The question is, write the greatest 5 digit number using these 4 digits. Here digits 4, 4 digits are given 5, 3, 6 and 1. But you have to write greatest 5 digit number. So how to write greatest 5 digit number? Out of these 4 digits, 6 is the greatest digit. So you repeat 6. The number is 66531. That is 66,531. Then you have to write this number in expanded form. So how to write expanded form? 6 here, the 6 is in which place? 10,000 place. 6 is in 10,000 place. So 6 into 10,000 plus this 6 is in 1,000 place. 6 into 1,000 plus 5 into 100 plus 3 into 10 plus 1 into 1. That means you have to multiply each digit with the place value with here 6 place value is 10,000 so 6 into 10,000 6 into 1000 place value of this 6 is 1000 place value of this 5 is 100 so 5 into 100 place of value of this 3 is 10 so 3 into 10 place value of 1 into 1 so in this way you can write any number in expanded form thank you children